Hey, welcome to another video. This episode is all about painting a landscape environment from start to final image. Along the way, I'll give you some tips and ideas on how you can improve your digital painting. My name is Victor, I'm an illustrator and concept artist working in the video game industry, and I really hope you guys will enjoy this video and find it helpful. So let's start! First thing you see me do is putting down some very simple line work, establishing the horizon line and then building upon it. Not really worried about perspective too much, just proportions and overall trying to figure the basic layout. It's definitely just a guide, so adjustments will follow on later. At this point you can think about a nice balance between big, medium and small shapes, the focal point as well as the composition in general. And again, as you can see, it doesn't have to be a really clean or detailed sketch, it's up to you how much time you want to invest in it. Alright, so once we're done with that, you can put down some flat color and try to get a feel for the overall mood. I'm starting with the sky and continuing with the rest of the main elements. Background, middle ground and so on. I have some water in the foreground, so I'll block that in with a different value as well. The idea is, whenever I do this type of sketches, is to kind of have a glimpse of the final result as soon as possible. So maybe in 20 to 25 minutes you can have a nice color and value sketch ready. Decided to work on the form and the lid side of the mountain. And during this step it should pretty much mirror the same idea of a nice balance between shapes. Adding some warm green in the middle ground, trying to connect the colder background with the warmer foreground and thinking maybe later on to add some roads and trees to better integrate, basically unify the planes. During the whole process, try to evaluate your darks and your, your values in general, adjusting them until everything works well. Now you can continue working on those shapes in the darker values, trying to create a smoother plane transition by keeping the edges softer. Adding more details to the background, some lighter shapes as well and notice that I'm not stuck in one place, I'm jumping around the whole image, basically trying to keep the whole picture in mind. This I think helps a lot uh, to get a more consistent result.
When it comes to foliage and vegetation in general, I like to keep things simple and even stylized a bit, so I'm not really worried about detailing too much, but overall mostly indicating things. I also try to scatter some details in the foreground and whenever you're adding this type of shapes, maybe keep in mind the rhythm or some interesting proportions maybe. I'm saying this so you can stay away from spreading or creating too much noise by adding unnecessary contrast in you know areas that don't really require it. Okay, so continuing with the details, thought to add some buildings, uh, this also helps to provide some ideas about the scale. We'll take care of the sky also, adding some clouds for additional depth and this might also help with the focal points readability.
All right, so let's have a look at the final image. I did spend a bit more time on adding some variety to the edges. I kept adjusting the values. You can see I tried to keep some unnecessary contrast down where it's not needed. Also adjusted the saturation in some places and placed a few more marks to add interest in some areas. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps a lot. Also, don't forget to ask any questions you have about the process in the comment section. I'm trying to answer all of them. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one coming soon.